This is All About Evo with George Teles. Hello everyone, welcome back to All About Evo. My name is George Teles. And I'm Rain from Limelight Wire. Previously, we patched in our fixtures, we got some groups organized, and then we built the fixtures in a 3D space in the visualizer in our console. And we're probably ready to, to make something with it. So we need some tools that we can pull from to make some art. Now, that's, it's, it's pretty important to think about this process before we go in and program in it because your workflow and your show file is kind of like shooting a free throw in basketball. You're constantly gonna be pulling groups and applying palettes and you wanna make sure that that muscle memory is something that's comfortable to you and something that makes sense. And the great thing is once you have your, uh, your palettes and, and your desk all uh, nice and organized, you can pull it out of a sapphire and you can basically put it in a quartz or an arena. And once your show file comes up, it's exactly what you've organized. So you feel very comfortable. You don't have to stress about trying to remember where these windows and where did you put that window. You basically, it's just gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. So let's begin. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna load our show, but obviously we already have our show loaded. Um, if but, we were gonna do that, we would hit disk like we showed you, and in the in our in our disk menu, you would hit load show. And when you tap that button, a catalog of all of the files that are saved on this console will pop up. We'll spare you that for right now. But the important thing is, you select it, you load it up, and that's where we are now, ready to go. All right. So what we want to do is we want to organize our our, our palette windows. So um, over here in the workspace, they kind of give you a, a, a head start. So we can select group and palettes. These are kind of default windows that Able Lights Titan has already included in the software for you. We didn't make those, they were there. So when you open up a new show file, those are gonna be there for you. Right, so what we wanna move these windows around a little bit. Uh, I, I, I prefer to have all my palettes on the, uh, on the left hand window there, on the left window here. Mm -hmm. So the way you move these windows around is right above, you have a couple little icons here. I'm gonna hit that gear, little gear icon. Third time's a charm. All right, we're gonna move it over to our left screen. Now, um, the next one I wanna move over is our position. Okay, left screen. I wanna actually put our positions up here, so I'm just gonna make sure it pops up there. Pretty quick. Our next window is our color window. And let's move it over to this little corner here. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, our gobo. And this is the way George you know, does it for himself. The way that I do it is a little different for me, and the way that you do it might be a little different from you. But the important thing is that you think about it, you make your view, and then you work from it for the remaining time. You want to set it up in a way that you just flow real smooth through your programming process, and that's what we're trying to teach you here. Um, I think our next um, window that we want to open up is a playback window. Yeah, so the playbacks window is next, and that's not one that was automatically there. So if we want to open up a window that's not already open, we're going to tap the open workspace window, and there's pages and pages of different windows. And every time they update the software, you get more. The best thing to do that I like to approach it, if their cursor is blinking up here, you can just search playbacks. And you'll see, even when we do that, that we have several different options. So we're gonna go with just a general playbacks pool, tap it, it's gonna auto-populate. And I wanna resize it a little bit because we're gonna end up putting our capture visualizer here, and I like to keep enough room for that to make it nice and big. So I'm gonna tap this, this square with a line through it, and it's gonna give me a grid. And I can drag and drop, boom, and resize it to really much anything in the screen, and that's gonna put it right there. Next is what I'll do is I'll, is I'll backspace out of this and capture visualizer like we showed you before. We'll go over here and we can just resize it to the void and boom, we're ready to go. Amazing. So the next thing we wanna do is over here in our groups, you can see that um, our odds and evens have been shuffled around a little mm -hmm. bit. So um, let's organize that. Um, we're gonna hit move, but instead of having to click the palette move, click the palette move. You have this great button over here called the latch feature, which basically latches the button, the, the move button. So I can easily just keep moving things. Wow, that would have saved me a lot of keystrokes. And that's the great thing about the Titan software. It really helps you with programming and, and the setup process of it. So mm -hmm. I think we're good there. Yeah, so this is a good view and, and we, we might wanna, we wanna make sure that we can come back to it. All right, so uh, now that we have these, uh, our palette's nice and organized, we want to actually create a record a, a view. Yeah. So how do you do that? Well, you basically go over to... When you hit open view, it's going to open up your workspace options. And then you can tap record workspace. And we'll place it over here. Yeah. Now, we like to keep our, um, our, our desk nice and organized, so let's label that. 
I'm gonna hit set legend. I'm gonna call this workspace. I'm gonna call it George's view. All right. Great. So now that we have our view, you can actually go through, accidentally hit any one of these, but once you hit George's view, ah. Yeah, and you can see that the, the groups are back into their order just like we wanted them to. So it also saves that sort of information. All right, so now we have all these windows uh, that are empty. We wanna fill them up with uh, position, colors, and gobo. So let's begin with the position window. We're gonna grab our elations. We're gonna locate these fixtures. I'm gonna tilt them out to the audience. Uh, let's put a little fan in there. And mm. Give it that sweet look. It's taken into the next and That level. looks amazing. So we wanna record this uh, position into our window, and it's easy as record. Over here, double check your uh, record mode that you're in channel mode, and we're gonna pop that right there. Mm. Now, uh, we wanna label this, and the great thing about the software is that you can actually uh, draw a picture on here. So we're gonna do that by select uh, set legend, and we're gonna press this, we're gonna hit picture, and now with your finger, you can basically draw the position that you have on the stage on that palette. Mm -hmm. And for those of you at home, this drawing is the scale. Yes. All right, so now you can see that instead of typing in um, lights at the audience, you can just look at your, your little thumbnail there and you know the mm -hmm. position that the fixtures are in. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on. Uh, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna set up our uh, color uh, window here. And we're gonna go ahead and select our elation fuse. We're gonna locate that. All right, and we're gonna press color, and we're gonna go uh, open. We wanna make sure we, we put some value in our command, uh, command line there. And I think we're ready to go there, so we're gonna hit record, and just drop that there. And then we'll keep going on. We have our red. And George is double tapping again, yellow. because that is the go-to gesture in Titan. Green. If you're ready to record something and you're not sure, just double tap it, and I, I bet it populates for you. And it's amazing how quickly you can uh, you can move through these fixtures, but there is another way that you can record um, uh, color palettes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll let Rain explain to you. So, you know, George just went through the color wheel, and that's gonna give you really saturated, vibrant colors. But, you know, if you're gonna do a slow transition from one color to another, you might wanna use the color mixing engine. So the way that we would do that is we locate the fixture because that was gonna remove the color wheel data that George had just put in there. And if we tap color again and go to the next page, you'll see that we have our CMY values. Now, if we wanna select them still at zero so we can get an open, we can double tap it in here. And then we're just gonna work our way through the flags. And I like to just kind of progress my way through them because it keeps the light colors next to each other. Well done, Ray. You know, it's like I've done this before. And now something, so the reason I like to do that and we add it is because one really neat feature about Titan is that if you're about to select a palette, if you type in a number, let's just bring it up so we can see it. If you type in a number and then select a palette, it's gonna apply that number as a fade time. So let's say five and we'll go back to open. It's gonna give us a nice five second fade to white. Very nice. Okay, so I think we're good with, we've set up a couple colors. Let's work on gobos and beams, so. Clear everything out here, start fresh. Mm -hmm. We're gonna select the Elation Fuse SFX. I'm gonna locate that. And now we're gonna go under Gobo and we're gonna find Open. We're gonna record that into our Gobo palette there. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna just move through them, double tap. And as you can see, the software knows what fixture we're working on. So mm -hmm. it basically gives you a little thumbnail. Um, it's a great a way to look at what mm -hmm. Gobos you're, you're working yeah. with. So I'm gonna continue that. And even if you found a fixture that you have to submit to Ecolights for a profile and they give it back to you, it doesn't have those thumbnails, you could then draw it in the picture window like George did with the position icon. And you know, you're always gonna have an, a, an option to give you a visual example of what's going on. Okay, so now we have that done. We're all set up with our goals. Wow. And now what we wanna do is we actually wanna create a couple of effects and record that into our playback window. So again, we'll go ahead and use that elation fixture. All right, and now we're gonna go under shapes and effect, shape generator, we wanna create, and uh, we wanna do a pan and tilt. Mm. And over here, I think we'll go with a circle. It's a classic. All right, so now obviously we see we have an effect running. So mm -hmm. it's going a little too fast, so let's yeah. slow that down. Bring it down a hair or two. Some might call this a figure eight. I think it looks like a figure eight. Avo Lights calls it a circle. 
All right, so now we have a nice smooth circle um, going there. We want to record, make sure that we're in record channel. I, I always like to double check. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're gonna drop it over here in our playback. And you can see that there's little icons at the bottom of the playbacks and all of the palettes that say, you know, I, P, C. Those are the same things, the same icons that you have down here. So only effects is white in this playback, so only effect information has been programmed. All right, and also let's label that and keep ourselves uh, organized. I'm gonna set legend. We'll call this circle eight. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Now, the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to go ahead and we want to make a, a rate master. Yeah. That way we can assign this playback to that rate master. That way if we pulled that effect up and we were busking, we'd be able to speed it up or slow it down on the fly. All right. So the way you do that is you go hit record mm -hmm. and we're going to create a master. Mm -hmm. a this time we'll rate, rate master. And you have the, uh, the Sapphire gives you four rate masters. So this one's going to be a rate master one. And we're gonna place that right over here. Amazing. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna have this rate master assigned to this playback. And how you do that is you select open, you select uh, the playback that you want, you go to options, you go to handle, I'm sorry, you go to effect. Uh, under speed source, you see free run, and you're gonna assign that to rate master one. And you see there are a lot of options there. You could even have a BPM master that's linked to the Pioneer CDJs that a DJ is doing, but that is for a much more advanced video explanation. All right, so we wanna double check that that's working properly. So let's go ahead and grab that, uh, hit locate, give it a position, uh, give it a nice color. We'll give it a gobo. This is all looking great. And let's double check that. Ah. Amazing. Moving, we should be able to slow it down and All speed right. it up. It's going a little crazy. Wow. You know, George, I might go. pay you to do something like this one. That'd be wonderful, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, so um, we got that going. So our next thing we want to do is um, we want to save our show. So. so this time we're going to show you how to save it to a flash drive in case you wanted to take it and move it, maybe take it home to your previous studio or you're moving to a different venue. Okay. And you can stick the flash drive in the USB ports right here in the arm. It's very easy. All right, and then what we want to do is we want to hit disk. And we'll go into the Save As menu, and you can see underneath the internal hard drive, it's the removable disk. So all we have to do is do exactly what we have been doing, and now our show file is saved. Now we don't have to worry about losing our show. It's mm -hmm. saved in our USB and in the hard drive of the desk. So at this point, we're probably ready to use the tools that we've created to make some looks, huh? Yeah. And that's what we're going to do on our next episode. So thanks for joining us. My name is George Celeste. And I'm Rain from Limelight Wired. If you learned something, put a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All right. Thanks for joining, guys. See you next time.